those vapes Keep your wicks wet And your coils tight If you're looking for new flavors And all about the clouds We're all filling up a clear road We're dripping on the sub On reviews for the juice Well, Trav and Josh host Few it on two And prepare for overdose What's up, overdose vapors? Welcome back Welcome back to the channel, bro yeah. Bros We're back So you came back with us That's yeah. kind of how it works Pretty cool Yeah, so thank you for joining us uh, We're doing some Aegis reviews today um, We're looking at something new The new line to us um, We're pretty excited about it We it's, are It's Vape Kitchen Vape Kitchen If you haven't heard about it um, they're, You heard? They're, they're like a new up and coming company um, They come in these great little blue bottles That we'll show you in a minute Which are fucking awesome I love yeah. the dark colored bottles Shit, yeah. yeah They have a few different kinds of juices uh, That are that are available on their site They um, do They have these ones that are like the VK The Big Kitchen Just kind of standards And they have these ones that are The Opus line The Opus yo. line And then they got like this This fucking top banana That's it's own deal Where well, they have uh, I guess their banana's so good That they made uh, like you know Six or eight different banana flavors yeah. uh, so they, have they, a whole banana, they have a whole banana line Whole banana line So their banana must be banging What's their deal Travis? High VG. High VG. Like supposed like, to be like a hundred percent VG, like no PG. Like everything suspended in VG. Yeah. VG so. based nicotine, VG based flavorings. Yeah. Um, so it's not supposed to have any PG in it. I mean, as according to what I've seen, right? Yeah. I mean, it might be. Am I crazy? I think they say that. Shit he's loco, say. but okay. I think he's right. Um, um, home girl from the YouTube channel. Um, she's not in the Facebook group, but she uh, she posts on our on our actual videos in the comment section. Yeah, um, four twenty. What's it? Four twenty flower power. Four twenty flower power. There you I'm go. I'm pretty sure. Or flower power four twenty or something. Like that. Flower power four twenty somewhere around there, and she popped up on our uh, on the channel there and was like, "Man, have you guys tried Vape Kitchen?" And just raving about their yeah. stuff, raving about the people, um, which. Which, which matters to us. Yeah. Uh, if we're going to be giving our money to people, we'd much rather do it to people that give a shit. Imagine that. So, raved about the people, raved about the flavors. Um, just said it was uh, really down our, our profile, like a lot of creams and a lot of, you know, stuff like that. So, yeah. What's today? What's the first one? Uh, we're going to do strawberry panna cotta first. Strawberry panna cotta. It's like a strawberry custard. Yeah. It's like an Italian custard, the panna cotta. We Italian looked at the, creamy custard yeah. panna cotta. So the, the strawberry essence there. And I think they're going to go for probably a like a fresh strawberry. I mean, that's kind of like up the, it's kind of like how they do it, I think. It's more like trying to be like a natural flavor. Yeah, I think, uh, yeah. Um, and I guess their chef, Oren, is just a beast um, at flavor making. So we're going to check in. And he's an actual chef. Yeah. And we got a lot of different ones. Uh, today we're going to focus on the strawberry panna cotta and then a blueberry donut. We're going to we're going to try two today. Hello. Um, we are, you know like I like Josh was saying we really we really like the whole idea behind this company. Yeah. Um, the fact that they're they're doing a high, you know a VG based you know with a chef behind it and trying some new things and, and the Opus line. I mean, uh, just check out the link below yeah. and just go check out the the descriptions on the the four Opus juices. The Opus ones are pretty blow intense. your mind. They're, yeah. they're intense. Yeah. And um, but this we're today we're just looking at kind of like like one of their standards. And we're getting we're, we're actually Opus line. We really wanted to jump straight into it, but we want to give those those uh, flavors and those. I guess you know we're talking about thirty plus flavors inside of a juice. So we want to give that just a little extra time to you know Come do together. what it, to do what it does. Yeah. So. We're not sure exactly when these uh, were made, or what you know, what, what, yeah. how long they've been steeping. We just got them. Yeah, we just got them. Um, so, so this would be a very low steep time. Yeah, we'd say these two, very low. So this is a, a three milligram, and you, you can get them in zero, three, six, twelve, and it looks like eighteen. Wow. Yeah, and That's this a is lot. A, this is a max VG. Yeah. Yeah. Straight up. Well, let's look at the bottle real quick. That way we can jump up and, and, and try this shit. Yes. I'm, I'm real, really curious to try the flavor. Real quick, under the ingredients, uh, <clears throat> kind of what we were talking about. It's uh, vegetable glycerin, USP kosher, natural and artificial flavoring, and then uh, nicotine. So, no PG. No PG. That's fucking rad. Yeah, they're claiming no PG. So there you go. I'm hoping that their that their claims are true because yeah. oh man, that sounds good to me. Love the bottles. Check these things yeah. out real quick. Let's check them out and we'll be looking right. at Vape Kitchen strawberry panna cotta up close. This is a 15 mil bottle. Gotta love those blue bottles. Got all your little info there and got some little design elements. Information. Information. All right, yeah. let's go vape it. We're back. You saw the bottles. 
with all the little uh, tinkerings and all the little uh, test tubes and the motherfucking beakers. Beak. Yeah. And yeah. if you don't know, in a whisk, which is cool. In a whisk. You got like <laughs> that. A beaker? I just want to say beaker. Beaker. A beaker tweaker. <laughs> um, so the, the, one of the cool things about these, if you don't know, light actually no, damages you know. your your uh, your flavors. It does. And your so, nicotine. And your nicotine. Could so you grade your stuff. Yeah. That's why they said to keep it in like a. a Place that doesn't get any light with you know cool temperature and yeah. so they've done you a favor here by giving these blue bottles cobalt baby because it's gonna it's gonna like reflect some of that light even if you like sit it out and it's getting light hitting it it's mm -hmm. not gonna be as bad as a clear bottle so yeah, good. but you probably want to keep it on some kind of shelving system where it's not getting direct sunlight any no you don't want to have yeah. it direct sun no matter but thanks what. for uh, putting a little uh, safe barrier in there yeah, yeah. Like the blue bottle. okay let's let's do this strawberry pinna cotta it's a nice dense babe Clouds, bro. What is that? There's a flavor in there that I'm not familiar with. Mm. Mm. I got mine in, on a, on the um, Americlone fucking deal here. I forget what they call it. <laughs> the Americlone. And uh, with some parallel mm. coils. So, just nothing nothing fancy. Just a couple parallels. I just got some... Regs, see some regular coils in here in the mutation X Fofo. It's definitely cloudy, it's real cloudy. Um, and first off, I get that real, real nice, sweet um, custard you know, real creamy custard. I get it. It is so different than any custard I've had, yeah, because that's I think that's the panna cotta. It's a different kind of custard, it's different well, than what we're normally and it, used to. And it being so high VG, you're gonna have a slightly not uh, muted, natural kind of more, more natural kind of flavor. It's a little bit more round than other flavors. It's not as intense. It's not as sharp. It's, yeah. it's not as dense. Um, I mean, the, the, the vape itself is dense, but the flavors not as dense um, because they're they're going full VG. Um, but I mean, if you give this enough good, time, though. yeah, it, does it really good. feels good. That long feel, yeah. how it feels to vape, right? And I'm getting a very strong strawberry flavor on the inhale. It's almost like strawberry jam. Yeah. That's almost okay. the flavor I get. Like a compote? Yeah, like a compote. Yeah. Definitely. It's not good to mix up. That's the donut. But it's like also at the same time, um, the custard is very much present. Yeah, it's creamy. It's very creamy. Creamy. And, and, it, and it definitely adds this, this high, kind of high level of sweetness to the strawberry. I think that's what's making me get this impression of strawberry compote. Um, which is a perfect, perfect description of, of the flavor for me. It is that natural strawberry, though. Yeah, without a doubt. Yeah, it's not artificial sweet. No, it's just very sweet from this this kind of custard uh, mixture that they put in there. Yeah, real warm. Mm. I mean, it's fucking cloudy, man. It's getting cloudy as fucking here. Yeah, and that that flavor is natural and good. Yeah, that's a that's a uh, real nice sweet custard. Uh, kind of light, you know, in a way, not a heavy dark custard, but like a light uh, sweet custard. Fluffy. Yeah, the more oh, it's fluffy, the more that I vape it, the more of the strawberry stands out to me, and it's like building up flavor in my mouth. It seems yeah. like you know what I mean. Like there's a coating of flavor that just keeps getting more and more intense. Right now, as I'm sitting here, the strawberry is valuable. You're it right. tastes just yeah. like I ate some strawberry jam. I mean, it's yeah. what it tastes like to me. So, um, it's good. Mm. Yeah, I like it. It's fucking so cloudy too. Wow. Hmm. Cloud bro. Uh, yeah, it's man. It seems like a juice that I want to spend more time with, just to like. Yeah, it's really hard to figure it out. It's I mean, it's it's really it's really deep. It is. Yeah. It's a uh, deep and uh, also very decadent. Uh, it's, it seems like the word of the day, but it is. It's decadent. It's, it is very decadent. It's um, it's it's yeah. sweet, but also it has this kind of savory element to it as well. Yeah. Uh, Josh said, like, almost fluffy, but then, oh, man, it's, like, it's coating my mouth so much that it's... Yeah, that strawberry. Yeah, yeah that strawberry is really intense. Yeah. It really is. Yeah. The more that you vape it, the more intense it's getting for me, so... Yeah, not bad. I'm going to go at 8.3 on the Richter, on the Richter scale. I'll say 8. Yeah. I think that it is a, a highly decent flavor, and I think the more you vape it, the more that it comes alive. Yeah. And so Josh is right. It's kind of hard. It's like a first impressions kind of thing. And remember, I mean, this is... The, very, very low steep time. So, I mean, this is, you know, I think you, you got this yesterday in the mail. It was a couple Day, days ago. A couple days ago. Yeah. So, 
very little steep time. Um, we wanted to get it out to you. Yeah. 425 Power, thank you so much for letting us know about Vape Kitchen. Um, uh, Vape Kitchen, thank you for sending it out. They were great people. She was yeah. right. They are really great people. Yeah. Um, yeah, it's good. It's good. It, it does. It's not what I expected. Mm -hmm. It's a little different. Yeah. Um, it's, but that's cool because they're trying something different. I like that. It's definitely different. It seems like something a chef would make. Yeah. It really does. Yeah. Epicurean e-liquid. It's yeah. kind of what they say on the bottle. So Excellent. keep uh, keep peeping them them profiles. And you know what? We're gonna spend more time with this because we're uh, you know one of us is gonna be taking this home yeah. and vaping it, and then maybe in the next vlog. After it's been steeping for a while, because especially with a high VG liquid. Yeah, we'll retouch on we'll it. We'll retouch on it. Maybe yeah. And let, let you know how it's kind of developed. Sure. You know. Surely. And, it, you know, we have more that we're going to do as well in the coming weeks. So you'll see some more that have been steeped uh, for longer. So. Including the ever so popular mango sticky rice. We got the, And we got the, the Thai mango re reserve as the well. The reserve one also. So yeah. that would be exciting. Very Those cool. are like some of their, their, their most well-known flavors. Yeah. And it sounds bomb to me. Mango sticky rice. Okay. okay. All right. Thank, thank you. you. Yeah, thank you guys so much for watching. Yep. Thank you, Vape Kitchen, for sending it out. Thank you, 420 Flower Power, and keep your coils tight. Keep your wicks wet.